Hi, this is Gabby from A Cup of Zen, and today I'm going to show you how to change out the lady in the self-love and care with mindfulness and compassion planner. So in your package, you've gotten a whole set of graphics. So you have lines that you can change behind that are behind the lady here. You have different ladies with different um, skin colors and eye colors. So like this one has kind of light brown with brown eyes. And then this one has the same coloring. Whoops, I don't know why it's looking like that. It has the same coloring with blue eyes. And then let's go back up here. Here we go. And then this one has the same coloring with green eyes. And then here's one with yellow hair, blonde hair, blue eyes, green eyes, reddish type of hair with brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes. And so then the skin coloring and the hair coloring gets a little bit darker. So I wasn't able to create different hairstyles like I would have liked for these, but I'll do that in the future. Um, but you may want to change some of these out. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Canva. So I'm going to switch out this lady for our darker skin tone lady here. And what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing, I'm grabbing the image from the folder and in Canva, I'm just dropping it right in there. So it's going to upload it. Okay. And this is like magic. Let's wait till it uploads. All right, it's done. So I'm just going to grab it and boom. There we go. Done. You can also choose to delete this by deleting it up here and then just clicking here and you'll you'll just need to adjust it with these circles on the side and then align it where you want it. Or if you, if you want to undo that, you can do that up here and bring back the lady there. So if you want to change it out, it's just that easy. Pretty much drag and drop and that's all. So if you want to change out the background, it's a little bit more tricky, especially in Canva. Everything's on layers, and although I believe, yeah, this these sometimes hold you up, these, um, these rectangular outlines here. So you have to kind of move it out of the way for a little bit. Kind of just move it on the side where it's still noticeable here, but you can work with the layer underneath it. So basically, all you have to do is import your line that you want to use. Let's try switching it out with a green one. I think her eyes are green, so let's try that. And so basically you just do the same thing, drag and drop. And then there it is. And then you can change the color of these lines too. So if you just click on the color of the line, I don't know if this is in, now I have the paid version of Canva, which is about $13 a month. And I don't know if this is available in the basic version, the free version or not, but it pops up with these photo colors. So from the photo of the lady, it has all of these colors. And then from the photo of the lines, it has all of these colors. So if I want to match it with the photo of the lines, I can just choose one of these colors here and it'll change it. And then actually, actually, I could choose to change all of the yellow to green if I want right here. And then that would change everything in the document to green. See, these were yellow. So if you don't want to do that, then just leave that unchecked. But you can, you have that option. And then as you go through, it's the same thing. If you want to change out these flowers for a different flower, 
Then you just import your flower that you want to use and drag and drop. Now you'll have to adjust it since it's different proportion from the one before it. Probably make that smaller. I use the JPEG, that's why the background isn't coming off of there. But you can also import the PNG and change it out just like that. And then you can change out the background here too. So there's totally different looks that you can do with, with each of these different pages. Of course, you can change the text. This one has Lemon Tuesday. If you like this one better, then you can change it to that one. So there's all kinds of, of things that you can do inside of this. And you can, this is another great thing. You can, oops, I keep messing up here. Okay, so if you want to change out this flower, whoops, sometimes it won't go in there and you have to try it a couple of times. <clears throat> and it looks like it's making it go sideways. So what we're going to do instead is delete this and just click on your flower to drop it into your canvas. And then just, you know, use this, use these guidelines this will go out like this. This extends the whole thing and makes it bigger. These are 300 DPI, so you know you can go very large with these. Whoops. And then you can change it right there and delete this one. And then what you can do is duplicate it. So this one right here with the two and the plus sign is duplicate. So what I would do is move it over here. And then what I would do is flip it. So here's flip and just click, flip, click, flip horizontal. And then that flips it horizontally. So now you have two new flowers and a totally new look to your planner. And then you can adjust your colors accordingly. So if you want this to be that green color, it's right here in the document. Or, you know, maybe you want to change it to a different color. It's very easy to play with. You have to get the this one too. Might have to move some of the fonts out of the way a little bit to get underneath to where these um, where these boxes are, these rectangles. That's the only thing that sometimes these the layers upon layers kind of make it difficult to get to the underneath layer. So you have to move the layer out of the way in order to get to it. But there you go. There's a totally new look to this planner. And then what I would do is I would go through and change all of these boxes. And if you click on one, um, if you have this available in your version and you want to make all of these green, you can do that easily by just clicking this change all of this color to this color and then it does it and then you don't have to go through the entire document to change it all and a great thing about canva too i'm just going to share this with you is that when you go to download you get your choice of downloads so if you're doing a print pdf you can create everything in canva and have it ready for for print for whatever it is that you're going to you're going to upload it to like Etsy or your, your shop online. Or if it's an ebook, then you can do print uh, PDF standard. And you can even export it to JPEG so that you have an image of it, of all of these pages so that you can use those in your, on your sales page. So that makes it really easy. So I'm going to change all of this back because I did not create a new document here and undo is your friend if you mess up on anything there we go okay so now we're back to the original document so I hope that this has been helpful for you to see how to work with this on Canva and you can change any of these things out as much as you need to now I'm going to show you how to do this in PowerPoint so inside of your folder, 